Just hours after the early morning raid, the streets were full of soldiers and cheering crowds shouting that their island was free. The Comoran army declared they'd taken control of Anjouan, but fighting continued between troops and soldiers loyal to President Mohamed Bakar. Gunfire was heard near the presidential palace on Tuesday morning, but the building appeared empty. So far, no casualties have been reported. Leaflets warning civilians of the operation in advance were distributed by helicopter. Some people even presented themselves to help in the operation, joining 1,300 African Union soldiers in the fight to topple President Bakar. But he's currently nowhere to be found. His election in June was declared illegal by the Comoran federal government. The archipelago has seen 19 attempted coups since gaining independence from France 33 years ago.